Hello, and welcome to our lesson on circle theorems. In this lesson, we're going to prove three circle theorems. And we begin with the angle at the centre is double the angle at the circumference. We can prove this because if this is the centre, and these two lines are two radii, then they must be equal. And we can create a third radius from the circumference to the centre, then these three radii are now equal. And here we have an isosceles triangle, where the two base angles we can call A, and they must be equal, because the two radii are equal. And we can call this angle here, at the centre, angle B. Angles in a triangle tell us that 2A plus B will add up to 180 degrees. Similarly, we can call this angle, angle C, which means this will be the same, angle C, and the angle at the centre we can call D. And again, the three angles add up to make 180 degrees. And finally, we can call this angle here, angle E. And we know angles about a point add up to 360. So B add D add E will equal 360. This angle B we have here. And we can rearrange this equation to make B the subject. So B will equal 180 minus 2A. And we can rearrange this equation to make D the subject. So D will equal 180 minus 2C. And now we can put these two values of B and D in the third formula. So we have B, which is 180 minus 2A, plus D, which is 180 minus 2C, plus angle E is equal to 360. And subtract 360 from both sides. So these will cancel. This will make zero. So we have negative 2A minus 2C plus angle E is equal to zero. We can move these two to the other side. So angle E equals 2A plus 2C and factorise the right hand side, angle E is 2 lots of A plus C. We know that angle A is this angle here, and we know that angle C is this angle here, and if we double these two, we do get angle E. So this is our proof of the angle at the centre is double the angle at the circumference. Our next proof involves opposite angles in cyclic quadrilaterals. So we're going to prove why the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. We're going to mark off a point at the centre of our circle and we're going to draw two radii from the circumference. And you can see that this angle here we can call A. And the angle at the centre, using the proof we just found, would be 2A. Similarly, we can call this one angle B, which means the angle at the centre would be 2B. So now we have two angles about a point, where 2A plus 2B will equal 360 degrees. We can factorise the left hand side, so two lots of A plus B will equal 360. Divide both sides by 2. So A plus B will equal 180. And this is angle A and this is angle B. So now the proof of opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. And now our final proof involves the angles at the circumference of the same segment being equal. So here we have a minor segment and a major segment. They are separated by the chord here. And the proof will show that this angle is equal to this angle. Okay, again, we're going to mark off a point at the center of a circle. And we're going to draw two radii from the circumference to the center. So now we can see the same proof we had to begin with, 
the angle at the centre is double the angle at the circumference. So if this is angle A, this would be angle 2A. And we have the same relationship here, the angle at the centre and the angle at the circumference. So if this is 2A, this would be A. Which is why the two angles at the circumference in the same segment are equal. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.